Hello everyone, Emily Brewer here at Crafty Hearts Art. Today I'm going to show you how to rock your art by actually painting this cute little cactus rock. Now this rock is something that's only going to take probably 10-15 minutes, but when we're done you'll actually feel comfortable doing the same. Okay, so the supplies you'll need to actually make this little cactus so using the same colors I used are you'll need a white paint, a black paint, dark green, light green, a nice bright cheerful pink, a bright yellow, and a kind of lighter turquoisey blue, and then I love glitter, so if you have glitter paint, definitely add that in. We can put that on at the end and just make it sparkle. Then you'll also need a cup of water and a couple brushes. I actually have three different brushes here, but there's two number size ones. One just has a tighter point on it, and then there's a number six brush. That's for the larger areas to fill in. And that's all you're going to need, plus a rock. Now, when you pick a rock, you want to make sure that you pick one that's nice and smooth. And before you start painting on it, make sure you, at the very least, use some water and maybe a potato scrubber and scrub off any dirt or residue that may be on it so that you have a nice, smooth, clean canvas of a rock. All right, so the first step in actually making this rock to get the little cactus on there is to get the design on there. Now, I like to use a white paint pen, but you can actually use a piece of chalk, a pencil, depending on how dark the rock is, you can use a Sharpie, whatever you'd like. But to, for this, you could also trace it, but this is a pretty simple little pot that we're gonna start with. And literally, what we'll need to do is do a line across. Just a simple little line across. You'll notice that it is a very thick amount of paint. It's a little bit more than I wanted, but it will still work. The line on top needs to be a little bit longer. Okay, so as you draw this one, the next little part is going to be just kind of a little oval right here for the first part of the cactus. Then we're going to have another little oval come off here. And this does not have to be perfect. It is really about learning how to do this and getting this little image on here as your guideline. Now I just made a little flower at the top, and then we'll start the next one. Another little oval coming over here like this, and then we'll put a little circle here, kind of give it a little bit more shape, and I think I'll put another little oval into here, just really get this a nice big full cactus look, and then we'll put one more here. And let's add another flowers at the top. For the flowers, we're really just making like a little crown shape. Actually really easy to do. Now with rocks, sometimes it'll go off the edge and that's okay. The better we get at it, the more often you do it, the more it'll fit on. Now this rock is really small. It's only about two inches by one inch. So there's not as much space and I'm trying to make it a little bigger than I normally would for a rock this size so that you can see the actual drawing. But there it is. That is our beginning drawing. So you are now done with step one. The next step will be to take your number six brush, your little bit bigger one. I don't like to use it when it's super wet. Some people do. So I'll dry it off on a paper towel first, and then I'll dip it into the, wet, into the white here. We're gonna start with filling in the paint pot. We want it to be all white. It's important to start with this paint pod and get it filled in really nice and thick so that you don't see anything through it. And it does often take more than one coat and that is totally fine, but you do want to kind of make it fill in really nicely. If it's not quite the shape you wanted, if there's anything you want to change, this is when you can start changing it and filling it out, trying to make the lines straight. Now, because this is more of a whimsical cactus, I'm not as worried about it being a perfectly straight line. But if I were, I would bring in a ruler and actually try and follow along that. I actually have a ruler that has a ton of paint on it because I like to use it for the straight lines. But this one's more whimsical and fun, so I'm not as worried about that. So I'm gonna let this dry. And that's going to take a few moments. Dip that in the water. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, 
I am going to start looking at my greens. Now the cactuses themselves are going to be the two shades of green. Now there are a couple ways that you can do this. What I actually recommend if you're using a smaller rock is to go to your number one brush, grab the darker color first. I always like to start with the darker color on top and work my way up. That way as it blends and as you mix the colors, it will actually start to show the highlights or the version that you're looking at where it kind of shows what direction the light's coming from. So while that is drying, because we don't want to get that wet up there, start painting the tops of the cactuses into the green. Now for this, you do want it to go over this white. Because the rock is darker, it's going to take multiple coats. Now some people will actually paint the whole background of the rock also, which is totally fine. Some people may want to paint their cactus instead of going green, maybe they want it to be purple. Again, totally fine. The key for this to actually turn out so it looks really good is to use the two shades though. So a dark purple and a light purple, which if you've got a dark purple, you can always mix it with white, or in this case, dark green and light green. Now you do want to cover those white lines that you used because most cactuses don't really have a white outline around them. You should be starting to see it kind of filling in. Now, while it's still a little wet, you can kind of see it's filling in really nicely. We'll go ahead and do this other top one up here, and then we'll add that lighter green in. Now, it may still need more coats. It's very possible, not uncommon. Now, sometimes you'll get those beautiful white rocks where it's really, you don't really need to do much in terms of coats. Now, Usually I would rinse the brush in between, but these I want to blend together. So I'm leaving some of that dark green on here. I'm coming into the corner of the light green to get some of it. And I'm going to start adding that in to try and blend it. Now basically to bring this in, I just do almost like a, another oval over the top. And you can see it's not quite blending yet, but it will start to. As we get going more, see it blending, you're getting a different little bit of colors in there. This one will come back in with some dark green, but here we go back over here, getting some more of that colors and blending. Can you see that around my fingers? It can be kind of hard sometimes. Now, this one, we got a little bit of extra in there, which just means we just add some more of other colors, blend it in it all comes together. Okay, so the white's dry now, so it's totally safe to go ahead and add the darker green on the bottom of the cactus now too. And just kind of make it really careful along the white. It's easier to not have to go back over it and fix it, although it's very easy to fix if you happen to get it into the white. I'm just doing a couple of coats here. Now you'll see that it does have the little lines from the paintbrush. If you don't like that, you can keep working on it to bring it back. I've always kind of liked that. It kind of gives it more of that custom. Someone painted this by hand and really put some heart and soul into creating it. Now I've gone over to this other little green section. and fill that in really nicely as well. Then once we've got that, we'll add in that yeah, lighter green on top. And again, you can really go ahead and paint these whatever color you like. I went for the more common green cactuses, but I like that. But truly, if you're going for a really whimsical look, you really can do it any colors you like or perhaps do the first one these colors and work towards doing them in other colors. You also saw how easy it was to draw this particular cactus. Now, when it comes time, 
and you're doing yours if you're not doing it at the moment, you can also draw them in different shapes, go different directions, follow the rock a little more. I'm trying to do it more like the one that I had done for showing you before, but we really can just kind of play with it. Now at this point, I'm doing some of the lighter green. I've blended it in. I will be adding some more dark in too, but I'm also trying to put it off to the sides. I want the light to be coming in basically from the left. So I'm putting that little bit of light in there to kind of reflect that a little bit. I'm doing that on each of them, about where I think that light would be hitting it. It's not perfect yet, but we'll add a little bit of yellow on top of that once we get that in there. Now, on the other sides where it's at, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of that dark green. Really make that pop and be nice and bright. Now the really fun thing about painting is it really doesn't matter what type of paints you have, if it's the most expensive or the nicest. You don't have to have specific colors for this type of thing. It's really about just starting to paint and enjoy it and have some fun with it. As you learn and you start learning the techniques and getting better, you can do all sorts of things with the art. I, when I first do a rock or I first do one, I like to hide them for people. There's this whole kindness rock movement going on that um, many people participate in, where when you paint a rock, you go and you hide it, and people find it, and it's really just intended to make people smile. Now we want to rinse our brush off really nicely. We're going to start getting into some of the other colors. We are looking this time for... I think I'll start with pink. We'll do some pink flowers right where we had those little almost like half stars tulips looking things at the very top. So I'm dipping into the pot pink and here we go. Now to make the little flowers, you saw how I drew it, but the truth is all it really takes is a side, a middle, middle swipe, and another side swipe and then just fill it in. It doesn't have to follow exactly the drawing and in fact in most of the cases it will look more realistic if it is just in the little three. Now for this one that's kind of off to the side it's a little harder to see but same basic technique. Just kind of doing the three, filling that in really cute. And you'll notice I used a really bright pink. I love how the pinks just pop off of this. But you could actually use any other color for that too. We've got one more off to the side here. How are you guys doing? Is everyone getting their cactuses painted? And there, we've got the little flowers. Now we're going to dip in and get some more color. This time, I think I will go ahead and get some light turquoisey blue off of this palette. Now for this, I still want this brush. We want to get it really nice and clean so we don't have any of that pink on it anymore. Because that will actually make it look very weird. And then we'll dip it into this. And with this one, we really just want to use the tip of the brush because we're going to be doing some really fine little lines to kind of give it this feel of a little bit of cactus sticking out. There we go. And then we'll do that in a few places. Maybe I will put one up here by the flower. Now, if, like today, I'm having a little trouble keeping it super thin, if you're having trouble with that brush that you chose, you can also use a toothpick. It'll give you a really nice fine line as well. And most of us have them in our households. And I'll put a little one here. Maybe a couple here. And we'll add a little one here. Now that is totally optional. You don't actually have to do that. 
you notice that's really what we're more aiming for is the really thin line. Sometimes they get thicker. And this is one where if you want to paint the background, you can come back in and correct it. Otherwise, if you really don't like it, um, a very small piece of a baby wipe you can come in. Or in this case, I'm actually happy with it. I think it looks really pretty. I do think I want to add one over here, though. I should have put one there because I think that will help pull it together. Again, try to use the edge of the brush as much as you can, but it's okay. There are no really mistakes in this. And once you've learned it, the more you do, the easier they'll get. And at one point, you'll just do them and just be done. You'll just be amazed at how quickly you can paint out little cactuses. Or cacti. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and go after the yellow. Now the yellow for this is going to be just some dots around it. So I'm going to actually use the other end of my brush. Now there are special dotting tools that you can buy. Um, they're usually used for nail art. But you can find them all over the place. And I do have those. I like to use them when doing mandalas or if I'm doing some sort of painting that utilizes primarily dots, like dotalism types. But when I'm in the midst of painting, say, a cactus, and I want to add some little dots, I just use the back of the paintbrush. Now, I'm putting big dots into this one because I really want them to pop. But I've also done it with lighter ones, smaller ones. You can really do it however you want. And if you really wanted, you could do them in neon pink or really any way you want. The goal here is not to be perfect. It's not to have only one way to do things. It's really about learning and having fun with it. And I hope you're having fun so far. Okay, bunch of dots there. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of dots into the flower at the very edge to kind of pull it in with the rest. So I'm just doing three little dots. Now when I'm doing the dot, I'm kind of touching it and letting it come up. Like I don't go all the way or push it all the way in normally. I just let the paint touch it and then kind of pull up and let it like resist so that paint comes up. And you can adjust how thick or big those dots become by doing that. It also is adjusted by how much paint is on the brush. So kind of helpful hints if you're doing dotting also. And there we've got the little cactus. So now, I'm going to go ahead and wait a moment, let that dry a little bit, and now I'm going to start taking a look at finishing up this pot down here. Now, to finish it, we're going to need some black. So we'll put black onto this. And I think we'll go with stripes on this one, I think is what I did before. So, again, I'm not looking for perfectionists on this. It's very meant to be whimsical and fun. But if you want super straight lines, again, a ruler is the way to go. You will be able to control that very well and have it exactly the way you would like. Now this top black line is kind of a key one. It actually sets the shadow and the strength of the top line. So you do want to try and keep your hand steady on this and keep it you know, as straight as you can. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it would look less artistic if it were absolutely perfect. I think a lot of us tend to be more critical of our own work than we would of anybody else's. The truth is, simply painting and creating is a fantastic first step. And there are so many people who are afraid to even try so if you're actually painting this cactus right now, you are doing fantastic. And if at any point you miss a step or you need to rewind or look back, I will be going ahead and saving this on the Facebook page at Crafty Hearts so you can come back and watch it anytime you would like. Now, you can choose not to, but I'm going to go ahead and line the outer edge of this to kind of pull it together some with the black. Sometimes I won't do that. Sometimes I will. This time I kind of feel like it'll help make it look a little bit more put together. And there we go. We now have painted a really cute cacti rock. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you had a great time. 
and I hope to see you for the next tutorial, which will be next week. Don't forget to rock your art!